Greetings everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to significantly reduce upload times to YouTube. There are a few ways to do this. The first of which is in the video render itself. I happened upon this tip when rendering out my most recent video on Star Citizen. I have been doing some research on video quality on YouTube and I found out a great deal of things. Some of which I applied to my Star Citizen video. I'll cover that in another video on how to get the best quality, even after YouTube's crappy compression. I ramble. Step 1, as I said, is in the render. In Adobe Premiere Pro CC, bearing in mind I don't know anything about any other software, there is an option to change the amount of times the video gets rendered. First there is CBR, which is some sort of like skim reading um, if you are doing it for a paragraph or something. Then there's VBR Pass 1, which is sort of like reading a book through. And then finally VBR Pass 2. This is like reading a book through and then reading it again while picking out words and then writing a paragraph about its deeper meaning. The real benefit is it removes any blotchiness and grain in darker areas, detailed environments, etc. It also has a wondrous effect on getting rid of that horrible look when there's darkness and then suddenly bursts of light. This is why it was pretty much necessary on my Star Citizen video. This increase in quality adds no extra data to your video file. It may add time to your render, but not your upload. For this reason, you must have a good PC with a strong processor. It does go through two renders, and so if it takes 12 hours to render a video normally, we're looking at the better end of a whole day. I personally own a, an i7-5820K, a very high-end CPU. You need a high-end CPU or you will suffer through the render times and it just won't be worth it. If you use this, then you can also lower the bitrate of the video too, and still get the same, if not better, results, while lowering the video size and reducing the upload time. I recommend you check YouTube's guidelines for bitrate at better resolutions. I'll link it in the description. My next tip is to use a compression software. The only lossless one that I know is Handbrake, although sometimes that software can cause audio issues and bars at certain frequencies. It's not usually too noticeable though and can cut upload times from 3 hours to 20 minutes, 2 gigabyte files down to 400 megabytes or so. Compressing is one of the most beneficial in terms of cutting upload times. Tip number 3, get wired. Wi-Fi is unreliable, slow and, well, crap. Resorting to Ethernet improves download and upload speeds considerably. I have a 36 megabit down fiber optic connection. Downloading is quick and uploading, although slower, is still pretty quick, and so upgrading your internet broadband to something quicker will also help a lot. If your router is not next to your PC, then a traditional single ethernet cable won't suffice. In this case, I recommend getting your hands on a power line adapter. Plug one into the mains by your router and the other by your PC. Then wire an ethernet cable to each and sync up the devices at the touch of a button. You now have Ethernet running through your mains. Want more than one device? Just add another. Doesn't have to be the same brand, any power line adapter will do. Mine is a 450 megabit device and works wonders. My final tip is to lower the bitrate. At 1080p, you should have 12 megabits per second. At 1440p, you want to aim for 24. At 4K, I believe it's a bit of a leap more, up to 53 to 68 megabits a second. The higher the resolution, the higher the bitrate that the YouTube player allows. Stick to this and you'll get the best results. There's no need for 50 megabits if you're at 1080p. Again, I will have a more detailed video on it in the near future. Apply all of these tips and your upload times will be short. If this video did help you, then do show your appreciation by tapping that like button. I love your face and I'll see you guys in the next one. Tara.